Welcome back peeps. In this video I will be showcasing what I hope to be my mega colony. As you can see, I have placed food in several different areas throughout the colony's territory. Therefore giving them plenty of opportunity to obtain protein and nutrients. I've also, or in the meanwhile, been dumping other ant colonies inside of the terrarium with these ants. Not to watch them go to war, although that is what some would consider a benefit, but the main purpose is so that these ants, the surgeons, can obtain the eggs from the invading colony. Therefore using the eggs as their slaves or worker ants to ensure the longevity of this colony. What you're looking at now is a clear container with an actual beta fish inside of it. This is the beach area which is serving as their water area as well. I have some ant watering stations ordered and on the way. But in the meanwhile, the ants can go up to the container and get their water from there. This is a piece of steak I put in for them. There's several pieces of steak spread out throughout the territory. The steak is infused with creatine as well. If you've watched the previous episode from the terrarium in my dining room, the warium, I introduced creatine to my cactus ants and it seemed to have really boosted their morale and energy all together. You can tell there are quite a few ants here. They've lost quite a few to wars. You will see that there's bodies everywhere, dead bodies from wars they've been in. Some are theirs, most are not. Nevertheless, it's what they had to go through in order to get the eggs or larvae. right here where the main entrance is I created for them right there where the light is that's where the main entrance is I've done that in front of the uh, terrarium or at the face of the terrarium so that I can see the coming and goings and kind of get a guesstimate of the numbers they have the more surging I see them doing in that area lets me know that the colony is striving
very entertaining to watch them walk the trails and go through their tunnels, getting food, bringing it in and out of the colony, transporting larvae. Kind of the main purpose of an ant farm. This is obviously not your typical ant farm, but we're trying to create a mega colony. My goal is to reach 10,000 ants inside of this colony. Right now, I think we're less than halfway there. I'm going to guesstimate that it's about 4,500. Had more before the wars began. So we'll just have to see how it goes in time and see if their numbers increase. As far as productivity, this is one of the more active colonies I've ever had and they are very uh, attentive to anything that's put in the terrarium with them. If there's food put in there, they transport the information immediately. This is our red beta fish. We call him angry because he's always angry. If you put another fish in there with him, whether it be a beta or any other fish, he attacks it immediately. If an ant hits the water, they're eight of them. That's going to conclude the video, folks. I'll leave you with this nighttime view, glow in the dark view of this terrarium. We will call this terrarium the claw. This time, I'd like to thank you for watching. Thank you for those that have subscribed. And remember, if you take a colony from a yard, leave them with something like food behind so they can rebuild and try not to take all of the colony when you do rob the colony. Till next time, be blessed. <laughs>